weighing in at 22 ounces with a 12-inch VG1 Sanmai 3 blade, the Gurkha Kukri may be, ounce for ounce, the most effective cut and thrust weapon in the world. The result of a design collaboration between world-renowned Bando authority Dr. Meng Ji and Cold Steel President Lin C. Thompson, it combines tremendous cutting and shearing power with outstanding penetration to outperform swords two or three times its size. A lot of people don't understand that a properly designed kukri will stab as well as it cuts. Our Gurkha kukri is properly designed, let me assure you. Hear those ribs break? Effortless penetration. The other cool thing about a kukri is you don't always have to make huge cuts. I can just flick with my wrist like that and make huge cuts. Look at this. I want the camera to see that. That's a flick of my wrist. Hey, all kukris aren't made the same. That's why you pay your big bucks and you buy a Sanmai Gurkha Kukri from Cold Steel. I've got a, almost a 25 pound beef brisket here. 25 pounds of solid meat. Let's see how it stacks up to the Sanmai Gurkha Kukri. That's what a Gurkha Kukri does best. Slices through huge amounts of meat effortlessly. This is why you buy cold steel. This is why you pay your hard-earned money for a cold steel knife because when, the, um, when you're in a pinch and your life is at stake, cold steel can deliver. We can make life-saving cuts like this with our knives. Ask our competition if they can. Robert Garnier cut through a 9-inch tatami mat with our Gurkha Kukri with the Sanmai blade. Look at this. That thing is bigger than most people's legs, at the, clear up at the upper thigh. That's tremendous cutting power from a 12-inch blade. This isn't a sword he cut with. This is a 21-ounce, 12-inch blade knife. That's awesome, Robert. We use a lot of this three inch mailing tube here at Cold Steel because it's really, really sturdy and protects the products that 
that you value and we want them to come to you in really good shape. Uh, the reason we like it so much is it's strong, strong. The wall thickness on this is almost 3 16 of an inch thick. This is compressed cardboard, full of glue, and it'll have uh, the strength to support 200 pounds. I'm going to have Luke come in. Luke weighs about 190 pounds. Watch, he can stand on this. Just use my shoulder there, Luke, for balance if you need it. Look at that. It doesn't crush. Look at the support that that tube offers. <laughs> we're not cutting through with the swords. We're stabbing it and we're, and we're uh, cutting it with knives. I can truly say that was effortless. If you hit the sweet spot, you can see right where my blade hit, right here. If the camera can come in there, you can see where the rope smeared on the finish. You hit that sweet spot with a Sanmai Gurkha Kukri, watch out, you're going to see action. This thing cuts like a chainsaw. It's awesome. It was just absolutely a joy to make that cut just now. I'm really thrilled. Congratulations, Robert. Look at that. That's 10 inches of manila rope in one stroke with the Samai Gurkha Kukri. That's cutting power that's hard to beat. You're going to go a long way before you find any commercially made knife that can cut 10 inches of rope in one stroke. Is that awesome or what? This is 16 one inch ropes. Look at that. It's cut through 15 for sure and almost 16. That's not even, that's one little strand of hemp holding right here. One little strand. 15. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, and one strand. 15 pieces and one strand. Almost 16 pieces of rope. Look at this. No factory knife, no commercial knife's never done this. Ever, 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 ever. And we know of no one in the custom field that's ever done this. Especially with a knife that can chop through copper pipe, that can stab through a car door. Um, you see people in these cutting contests with sharpened cleavers. They're not real knives. This thing's got a point on it, a very, very sharp point. This can do all kinds of work. This is history, my friends, history. And we're glad to make it here at Cold Steel.